Hey everyone, this is Captain Daniel Hyun from ABCs of Attraction. I'm the Korean dating coach. So in this video, I'm going to talk about why you should choose a Asian dating coach compared to a Caucasian dating coach. One of the questions I always get asked from my prospective clients is that I have this huge number of Caucasian dating coaches. Why should I pick you, an Asian dating coach? By the end of this video, you'll understand what are the great advantages of working with the Asian dating coach. So reason number one is that it has been scientifically proven that a counselor with the same ethnic background as you will become more successful. And here's some of the reasons why. The counselor can empathize with you. He understands your culture. He understands some of the rules that you have to grow up with, some of the Asian rules, having a tiger mom, right? Or having all these expectations, all of your schedule being so busy. He or she can actually understand what you're going through. And also, all your limiting bullshit beliefs, okay? Saying that, hey, as an Asian male, be more quiet. You know, work and become successful from the back. Don't speak up. Right? All these things such as, you know, all these cultural things, you know, such as, you know, going to high school with a lunch that smells. You're bringing food that smells and stuff like that. You don't want to show that culture because you're ashamed of the smell or how it tastes or what you're actually eating. Let's say you ate something weird. Basically, the counselor understands your cultural background and also understands why you think a certain way, why being portrayed as being more feminine, or he understands how you're portrayed in the Western society. So he just understands what you're going through. So let's say you're a short Asian guy who's been bullied his whole life. What would a tall, good-looking white guy know about being called gook, being chink, and being made fun of all the bullies constantly for being too smart and playing the violin. And point number two is also this. As an Asian dating coach, I understand the culture. How do you reframe this so that your parents or your society or your group of friends can understand this? Let's say most of the people you know are Asian. How do you frame this in a way that this could be a positive image upon you? And I understand that because I come from my parents. My parents at first you know, didn't agree with this. They're like, why are you doing this? Why do you need to get know how to speak to a woman? Just get rich, get a BMW, get a nice job, and girls will just come to you. But let's be honest, you, and I both know that just being successful in career, being a doctor, being a lawyer doesn't bring just women into your life, doesn't even bring high value into your life. So that is what I understand is like, how do I balance, you know, how do I reframe to my family and friends that, hey, this is something I got to do and this makes me a better person. And another reason is how do you balance this, right? Because you guys, I understand this, because of our culture, we're very career oriented. We wanna be successful, we wanna be financially free. We also wanna take care of our parents. So putting dating as a priority is not something we can do and it can't sacrifice any of the other things we're doing for our personal life. I understand that. Yes, I'm a dating coach, but I understand that you need to set your priorities straight and how do you fit that into your schedule so you could actually go and meet beautiful women, but also, have that personal life. And another reason is dating women outside your race. That is an issue that I had to struggle with. My parents constantly tell me, you're gonna marry a Korean woman, you're gonna marry a Korean woman, you're gonna marry a Korean woman. You, I want a woman who knows how to speak the language. How do you reframe that? How do you let your parents know, this is actually something I want, it's not about race for me, right? Because in this era, race shouldn't matter. And how do you say that? I understand where you're coming from. Also, I understand your insecurities being either a short Asian male. I was a fat Asian male, okay? I was a fat, nerdy Asian male. You might be fat, you might be short, you might be made fun of your eyes. I, have, I know the feeling when someone comes up to you and goes like this. I know the feeling when I'm talking to a beautiful girl and a tall white guy who's very, you know, he has that typical jock look and he steals my girls away from me. I know that feeling when women come up to me and say, hey, you're actually decent for an Asian guy. Hey, you're actually okay for an Asian guy. Wow, you're actually this for an Asian guy. Wow, I've never met a guy like you who's Asian. I ask the question, have you ever dated an Asian guy? And they're like, no, I had no interest. How do you react to that? How do you, instead of reacting, how do you respond to that? I've been there myself. That's why I'm doing this, because I was a student just like you, and I wanted to understand how, as an Asian male, can I date in this Western society? And how do you respond to your own sisters, our fellow Asian sisters, saying that I don't date Asian guys? How do you respond to that? And how do you create a win-win for all of us? 
that's something that I've experienced myself. And I think the biggest thing of why you should choose an Asian coach is because I understand you, I empathize with you. Everything that you probably went through, I went through myself. And yes, the Caucasian dating coach, he might get results, but how is a short, chubby Asian guy who got bullied for being weak and nerdy gonna relate and copy or understand a tall, good looking, in shape, muscular Caucasian coach? It's not, it's not how it works. So if you have any questions, if you want me to ask me anything, please message me on Facebook or Instagram and please subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching our video. I hope you liked it. And make sure you guys subscribe to this channel and watch all our other videos. Great news too. Every Monday, we'll be putting out a new weekly video. That's right, we've got educational seminars, street interviews, uh, fun in-field pickup videos, and anything else we can come up with that's fun for you guys to watch. So check back.